Hello everyone, it's Sam here and today I'm going to be doing another book haul video because I read too much. So let's get started. So the first couple of books I got would be... I'm going to start with the novels today because I don't have that many. So one of them I got is Edgar Allan Poe Complete Tales and Poems. I found the complete version. This thing is huge. It is so pretty. I love the cover. Very heavy though. Includes stories like The Raven, Annabelle Lee, The Haunted Palace. Includes a lot of his poems and stories. I have another one of his, of some of the stories. I'm not sure if they're in here also, possibly. But I just got this just to get all of his other works that are hard to find. So I'm really happy to find this, and I can't wait to read this soon. Oh, so heavy. The next novel I got is You Love Me by Coraline. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. This is um, the third book in the You series. This is the hardcover edition which is very nice. I'm not going to read what this one's about because I don't want to spoil it. I own the first two books in paperback. I wish this one was in paperback, but it's only in hardcover, so I own book one and book two. These are the um, Netflix TV show covers, so I have seen the show. I can't wait for season three. I know it's different from the book, but it's still really fun to watch. Really creepy, though. I can read the, I'm going to read the back of book one so you guys know what you is. Okay. <clears throat> when a beautiful aspiring writer strides into the East Village bookstore where Joel Goldberg works, he does what anyone would do. He Googles the name on her credit card. There is only one Guinevere Beck in New York City. She has a public Facebook account and tweets incessantly telling Joe everything he needs to know. She is simply Beck to her friends. She went to Brown University. She lives on Bank Street and she'll be at the bar in Brooklyn tonight. The perfect place for a chance meeting. As Joe incivilly, invisibly, that. Yeah. As Joe invisibly and obsessively takes control of Beck's life, he begins quick, quietly removing the obstacles that stand in the way of their love. Joe will do anything to ensure Beck finds herself in his waiting arms, even if it means murder. So basically, creepy stalker story. I mean, it's mostly seeing his point of view. There, I th I know in the TV show they did Beck's point of view one episode, but I don't know if it's like that in the book. But it is creepy. But I can't wait to read all three of them soon. So that's it for novels. I got the first two novels like a while back, so. The next. Next I have is manga. I got more of that. A lot more. So I finally got book 12 of Kiyomi Can't Communicate, volume 12. She is so cute in her summer outfit. I'm gonna look at this, adorable. I can't wait to read this volume. I read all the way 1 through 11 so far. So let me read what this is about for you guys. Socially anxious high school student Sh Shoko Kiyomi, great Greatest dream is to make some friends, but everyone at school mistakes her crippling social anxiety for cool reserve. Like, they think she's someone that doesn't like talking to people like this. Likes to be by herself, which isn't really true. Luckily, she meets Tanano, a timid wildflower who decides to step out of his comfort zone in order to help her achieve her goal of making a hundred friends. 
It's a really cute series. I really love it. It is just adorable. I just can't wait to read this. It's going to be so much fun. <clears throat> I need a drink of water. Ah. Okay, the next manga I got is... Can't Stop Cursing You, Volume 1. I'll put both of, I'll put all the author names below when I show you guys covers. Here's the cover. So let me read what this one's about. This one caught my eye because of the cover and the back cover alone. The back cover. Really cool. So let me read what this one's about. It was just an ordinary day at Yummy High until it wasn't a ringing cell phone and a splatter of blood marked the beginning of a deadly game the rules constructor Mikaya I think that's how you say it I'm not sure has 30 days to curse kill 30 people or meet a face wor a fate worse than death on the day, I read it wrong, on the other side, Curse Breaker Sayama, I'm guessing that's how you say it, must identify the killer without falling prey to one of Micaiah's curse kills. Only t time will tell who will emerge victorious. It's really cool. It gave me like Death Note vibes. So I'm like, ooh, this looks good. I think the art style is so cool. This looks like it's gonna be fun and scary. Yeah, I can't wait to read this. Uh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. Okay, the next manga I got is Call of the Night, Volume 1. So I got some vampire manga also. Let's read what this one's about. Natsuna? I'm guessing that's it. Did I say her name in here? Because the print is weird on the back, so. I'm just going to guess that's what it is. I can't find it right now, so. Natsuna is a vampire. That's okay with him and Ko. He wants to be one, too. But the trend... But transformation doesn't come that easily. One sleepless night, Ko slips out to walk the streets. Life after dark is revelation. When a flirtation Natsuna, okay, I'm saying it right, invites Ko to spend the night at her place in an abandoned building, he's stoked. He's like, yes. But then he awakens to kiss on the neck with a little too much bite to them. It is just the delicious taste of his blood that makes her meet him at n him. Wait, remember that line? I am trouble reading. It's just that. For some reason, I can't freaking read today. Now, the back of this book, the layers a lot, so I'm getting my own reflection in the book, so I'm like, where am I? Okay, let's get back. So, we left off on the bite of neck. Okay. It is the delicious taste of his blood that makes her meet him night after night for late night adventures, conversation, and naps. Or something else. 
Then, when a cute girl from Cole's past shows up and competes for his attention, his budding relationship with the undead is put to the test. So, it is a romance kind of friendship book, I would say. I cannot wait to read this. I thought this looked so cool. It looks like so much fun. The next two mangas I have is The Vampire and His Pleasant Companion, book one and two. So here's the cover to book one. And here's the cover to book two. So I'm going to read the back of book one only. Okay. Since becoming a vampire, Albert's life has fallen into an unchanging cycle. Day to night. A bat to vampire, USA to Japan. <laughs> After a mishap at a meat processing plant in Nebraska, a bat, bat Al is flash frozen alongside his midday snack and is shipped to a foreign land, explaining to the police how he really ended up wandering naked out of the is out of the question. <laughs> Not to mention, he doesn't even know a word of Japanese. Oh my god, poor guy. Al will have to rely on the kindness, question mark in parentheses, of his new companion he's going to get by in Tokyo, that is. He is convinced, if he can convince him, he's the bat. So this poor guy winds up in Japan as a vampire who doesn't know what to do with it. It just seems fun, and it kind of gave me interview with Vampire and Vibes because the two of them together gave me like Lestat and um, Louis Vibes. So, just looks fun to read. It looks hilarious. So, I can't wait to read these. So, that's it for the manga, but then I have a magazine. So, the magazine I got this time is Anime USA, and this is Spring 2021. And it has How to Summon a Demon Lord on the cover because they finally made an anime of it. Woo! The anime ones only focus on the, like, the anime stuff, obviously. So you've got some in your washer. Got anime reviews, what's new coming out, all that fun stuff. Got a lot of good stuff. Mad like that mermaids. See, here is the main page for the cover. Such a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of interesting stuff, I would say. I don't want to reveal too much because I'm going to spoil it, so yeah. So that is all of the books and magazines and manga I got this time. I'll put everything in the description box down below if you want to check these books out also for yourself. And at the end of this video will be my book haul or other book related videos and playlist. And that is pretty much it for my video. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be making more videos soon. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!